So hi, my name is Akin Savakumar and welcome to this two-part series on WebRTC with remote keyboard and mouse sharing. So WebRTC is actually an amazing way for doing screen sharing because of its peer-to-peer -peer connection. The latency is generally really, really low, which is awesome for us. Um, another thing, so today we're going to talk about how to set up a project called Laplace and set up Barrier RC on our machine. So, so I've written a patch to the project called Laplace to, so that it's possible to do a WebRTC stream at the same time even screen, even use a remote keyboard and mouse. And we do this using something called a Barrier KVM. If you're interested on the project Barrier, you should read the docs, it's amazing and has a really wide use case for remote keyboard and mouse sharing. Um, so today we're going to set up Barrier and set up um, the project called Laplace. Um, we're only going to set up the server side. The client side setup will be part two of the video, which will be uploaded later. So, so let's get on with the project anyway. So, the first thing you want to do is ensure you have Barrier installed. So, put that um, in the project. If so, this link I'll put on the description, which is the link to my branch. If it's merged, great. You can just clone it from the master branch of this project, but. Uh, we don't know what would happen because the, the pull request is still open. Uh, this is the, you have the bunch of binaries and releases over here. If you're a Linux machine, you can just install it from Snap or Flatpak. And if you go to the Barrier project, all information is provided about how to install it. So let's assume I've installed Barrier to ensure everything is ready. Just do Barrier dash Barrier RC dash H which is a client version of Barrier. If you have this installed from the server side, you're all good in terms of Barrier. That's all you need really. Um, now we need to talk about how to set up the project Laplace. Um, this is also very easy. You can just clone my branch over here. So once you've cloned it, ls, make sure you're inside the directory of my branch. The first thing you want to do is build the go binary file, go build ensure you have the Go compiler installed for it. So because I've already compiled this before, I already have my binary ready, and hence the build didn't take that long, but it takes a little bit longer than that. Um, so I have my Go, I have the binaries built. So now I want to, now the next thing we want to do is configure a Laplace. So the first thing we want to do is actually set a variable called Laplace, all caps, and we want to link this variable to the current path. This is because of the configuration, so to ensure it's set correctly, you can just echo the variable Laplace. And you have it right here, we have the path. So now we have the path of Laplace. Uh, the next thing we want to do is ensure that the binary of Laplace works. So for that, just dot slash and dash edge. If you've done this, uh, the Go binary has compiled successfully. The next thing we want to do is generate the configuration file for Laplace. For that, it set config. And if I do cat config.json, you have my host name of the host name of my machine and the username of my home directory. In in most case, if you want, you can change the barrier host name, but you need to change this also in the barrier settings if you want to do so. But the default in Barrier is the same host name as your machine. Um, since we have that set up, so now this means we have everything set up. All we need to do now is start the server. For that, we do Laplace. We do we'll give a flag called TLS because we want it to be an HTTPS request, and we have the certificates are all the inside the project, so nothing to worry on that side. Um, we want to put the flag dash ADDR, and we will put 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and we'll put the IP address, I like to give it 8088. Sorry, my port, I'd like to give it 8088. If I do this, that means I've run Laplace, I'm running Laplace and the server is running successfully. Um, for my machine, let's re refresh the page. I have over here. Part two, we'll talk about how we joined the stream room, but for now, we are here, so we'll just start sharing our screen. We'll give it Let's actually give a performance only 60 frames, but let's give it 720p resolution. 
and start stream love the entire screen and boom we have set up and we have our room name over here how to link it we'll talk about that in the next video and that's it for today so thanks a lot for thanks a lot